Frank Fontaine Comedy Theater presents some of the comedy classics that Frank has collected. First, Mr. Fontaine tells us a story about the two famous Irishmen named Pat and Mike. A buddy of mine tried to put another buddy of his in a good mood. Seems though that Pat broke his leg and Mike went over to his house to cheer him up. He knocked on the door and the landlady came to the door and she says, Yes, what can I do for you? She said, My name is Pat Riley. I'd like to see my good pet friend Pat. Uh, uh, my name is Pat. I come to see my good friend Mike Finnegan. My name is Pat Riley. I come to see my good friend Mike Finnegan. Would you be kind enough to tell a fella what room the fella might be having because I have to see him for about three hours of that night. <laughs> He said, well, he's right up in the attic. You'll find him. Right. You go to the head of the stairs, and you'll find him up in the attic. He says, up in the attic? What's he doing up there? The last time I seen him, he had a nice room in the floor. He said, well, you know, he's been awful sick, and he hasn't been paying his rent, and we didn't want to throw him out in the street. He said, well, that's nice of you not to throw the fuller out in the street. Now, how do I get up in the attic? He said, well, you go to the head of the stairs. You come right to the very top and you'll see a little bit of a door. You go in the room and you'll find him. He said, well, that's awful nice of you not to throw the fuller out in the street. He goes all the way up the stairs, comes to a little bit of a door, bends over, looks around the room, spots Pat way over in the corner. He says, hello, Pat, how are you, you old son of a gun? All the fellas miss you, and they sent me up to cheer you up. They're all saying every day, when's Pat coming? When he, how long is he? You're all skin and bone, man. <laughs> You'll be all right in a couple of days. You'll be back in the job, and things will be going along just as good as ever. You old son of a gun. And you know, they, 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 they you're awful green looking. <laughs> Indeed, here's some money the fellas took up a collection for you, and you can spend that whatever way that you want. <laughs> your eyes are popping out of your head. <laughs> oh, but you'll be all right in a couple of days. Well, I gotta go now. I thought I'd come up and cheer you up. <laughs> Throw long, Pat. And he turned and bent over and went to go out the door, and as he did, he banged his head. He turned around and said, but I don't know how they're going to get a casket out of here. Oh, you'll be all right. And now Frank takes the high road to Loch Lomond to offer us the following. Now, how about a little scotch? I mean, how about a little scotch style? Seems all that uh, a group of tourists were being shown through the highlands of Scotland by a guide who didn't even wear a hat. So they all chipped in and they bought him a beautiful fur cap with heavy ear flaps to keep his ears warm. And the next day when they all came out, they noticed that he wasn't wearing the cap. And they said, what happened to the cap we bought you? He said, well, I had not worn it since the accident. They said, what accident? He said, well, I'll tell you. Someone offered to buy me a drink and with those ear flaps on, I didn't hear them. <laughs> Next, Frank goes Oriental to tell us a very clean story. You know, this is a wonderful country of ours. You can buy your own home, own your own car, even become president of the United States if you work hard at it. But there's one thing you can't do in this country, and that's get your laundry in a Chinese laundry without the ticket. <laughs> of course, you don't see too many of them nowadays. Nowadays, they have a shirt ready in an hour or two, and it looks it. But I'll never forget when I was a youngster. My dad sent me out to pick up his laundry, and like all youngsters on the way to the store, I watched a baseball game, played a little tag, leapfrog. By the time I got in front of the store, no ticket. Well, I just had to get that laundry. And it was the usual Chinese laundry. It was rather narrow. Chinese fellow was ironing about here. I came in, there was a bell on the door, and I made a lot of noise, and I said, Hello there, hello, Mr. Wong. Hello there, Mr. Wong. Mr. Wong. And he approached me something like this. <laughs> what you want? Uh, have you got my laundry? Give me a ticket. <laughs> well, the ticket, uh... Uh, ticket, uh, I guess I lost it. 
Give me a ticker. Well, I guess I lost it. I don't know what happened to it. We a ticker. I lost it. I don't know what happened to it. Come on, Dad. Show me. We eat the crazy mix-up kids. Come on, I'll work this. I'll work it out. Yeah, we did. But Mr. Wong, Mr. Can I talk to you a minute, please? Come here a minute. I don't move your toe. What you want? Uh, have you got the line? Remember me? I brought it in Friday. Oh, gee, I don't move your toe. Oh, gee, I don't move your toe. You're Friday. Mr. Friday. Mr. Friday. Got no Friday here. No, I brought it in Friday. Remember me? A couple of shirts and a pair of uh, socks. Remember me now, huh? I don't move this here. Oh, gee, I don't move your toe. Where's your ticket? I lost it. Is this here our laundry? No, that's not it. Come on, that's how most of it. Is this here our laundry? No, that's not it. Come on, that's how most of it. Is this here our laundry? Yeah, that's it. Hey, I, I just found my ticket. Come on, one more thing. 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 There'll be no joking about the next item on our program. Let's give serious attention to our sponsor. <laughs> Show business is very glamorous, but at times, very trying. An actor who was out of work applied for a job in the circus. The manager said, we can use you. We're supposed to have two gorillas on our show, but they both died. Now all you have to do is put on that gorilla suit and pretend you're a gorilla. <laughs> now, don't worry about anything. All you have to do is stay in the cage all day and nobody will know the difference. <laughs> so the actor took the job. He put on the suit, got into the cage. About 10 minutes later, they put a gorilla in the cage with him. He started screeching and yelling, help, get me out of here, murder. And the gorilla walked over to him and said, shut up, you jerk. <laughs> what do you think, you're the only actor out of work? <laughs> Go to the turn of the century for the greatest form of entertainment, the male quartet. Here we are in an old-fashioned barbershop. As the four gods would sing, I had a dream. Song we were rehearsing the other night over at the hall. You remember that uh, I had a dream? Let's there. sing it. Let's, let's sing it. Let's, let's, let's sing it. Let's do it. 